आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज द ट्रेजेक्टरी ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्टाइल इज गिवन बाय वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स टेन थीटा माइनस वन हाफ ऑफ जी एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय यू स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा नाउ दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द वेरियस फिनोमेनोन सच दैट एज फाइंडिंग द मिनिमम वेलोसिटी रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक अ स्टोन रीच अ सर्टेन पॉइंट मैक्सिमम रेंज फॉर अ गिवन प्रोजेक्शन वेलोसिटी एंड द एंगल ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द मैक्सिमम रेंज ओके while uh, the range of the particle thrown from a tower is defined as the distance the root of tower and the point of landing so let's see the question that is a tower is at a distance of 5 meter from a man who can throw a stone with a maximum speed of 10 meter per second now what is the maximum height that the man can hit on this tower so let's see the solution so the this is very simple type of question actually so first of all uh, let get understand by the means of diagram so let's this is the ground ground now let's suppose this is the tower whose height is small h okay let this height is a small h now at a distance of 5 meter from the tower man is standing over here man is standing over here at a distance of 5 meter from the tower okay now let's say man throw a stone in a forward direction with velocity of 10 meter per second at an angle of theta so obviously obviously it will do the trajectory motion and it will reach up to the height of the tower let's say it reaches up to this much of height and this much of height is nothing but h okay let's say this much of height is nothing but h so according to question we have to find this height h okay so uh if we see here so according to question we have given here the trajectory equation so generally to find out this we will use this equation that is here y is nothing but the maximum height up to that stone is reaching so here we can write uh, in the place of y we will write h this will be equals to x tan of theta minus 1 half of gx square divided by u square and 1 upon cos square theta can be written as sec square of theta so after putting the values this will become h will be equals to x is 5 into tan theta minus 1 half of g is 10 x uh, means 5 square will be 25 divided by 10 square will be 100 multiply by sec square of theta right now if we further solve this means if we further simplify it so what we get that is h will be equals to 5 tan theta minus 5 by 4 sec square of theta okay now according to question what is given here the maximum height that the man can hit this tower okay means we have to find here the maximum height so for maximum height the condition is dh by d theta this should be equals to 0 so if we differentiate it that is dh by d theta this will become equals to 5 derivative of tan theta is sec square of theta minus 5 by 4 will be as it is derivative of sec uh, sec square theta will be 2 sec theta into derivative of sec theta will be nothing but sec theta into tan theta okay and to maximize it this should be equals to 0 okay so from here what we get uh now if you see here sec into sec will become sec square theta so we can take 5 sec square theta as common okay we can take 5 sec square theta as common so it will remain 1 minus 1 half of tan theta this should be equals to 0 now this 5 sec square theta can't be equals to 0 can i make 1 minus 1 by 2 of tan theta will be equals to 0 right so from here what we get that is the value of tan theta will become equals to 2 okay so 
this is what the value which will give us the required value of h that is in the place of tan theta we will substitute the value of tan theta as k okay so the required height h will become equals to 5 into tan theta is nothing but 2 minus 1 half of okay not 1 half of directly we will write this that is 5 divided by 4 now in the place of sec square theta i can write 1 plus tan square of theta okay so this implies uh, 5 to 13 minus 5 divided by 4 in bracket 1 plus 2 square will be nothing but 4 so this will become 10 minus uh, 4 plus 1 will be 5 5 5 is a 25 divided by 4 so after subtracting this we get 3.75 meter okay so here we can say that the maximum height at which the man can hit the tower is 3.75 meter and according to option option d will become correct answer for this question so this is the required solution thank you class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400